to sit down and talk to a group of seniors who gave Aztec football a name. Yeah, edit that part out. Uh, you said keep it PG, so. They are a collection of unique individuals. Jake Walker, ultimate team player, if I can name anyone, it'd Jesus. be Jake. And we have the 6-0 yeah. right here. Yeah. He uses Pert Plus. We can't forget Marvio's eyes, though. Look at the cheeks. Chick big, yeah, chicks big, though. Blue Collar Award goes to Heath. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Big play, Blake. Yeah. I guess we're going to have to give him the ultimate team leader right here. We fall in line with them. But it's who they become when you put them together that has taken the nation by storm. Dark side defense is coming right from Star Wars. You know how it's just keep it shut down, keep it locked. Don't let nothing get through, don't let anything penetrate. Well, they are back for a second year as the Dark Side Episode 2. These are the seniors who started it all. 11 of them will graduate this year, but they leave behind the dark side legacy and the story of how it all began. Hard work, balling, dedication. In 2002, a new coaching staff came in with new ideas. We made them run to the ball. If they didn't run, we were running after practice. But the change didn't happen overnight. We struggled a lot, you know, we didn't really know how to run a defense correctly. I just know we'd do a lot more blitzing, a lot more aggressive. A lot more getting after people. Our goal was we want to be the best. There's no reason why we can't be the best. But ranked 95th in the nation, San Diego State's defense was one of the worst. We can only go I up. I think you can say that. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You can only go up from there. But they came in with the same kind of attitude to just teach us as, be like, as much as they can and hope that we pick it up and like learn our assignments ASAP. The whole so. coaching staff just came in with a kind of looseness and a, and a confidence, you know, like just. Go out there, be confident in how you can play, and you know what I'm saying, nobody can beat you. In 2003, the defense was poised for greatness. They proved themselves on a national stage. I think when we went into Ohio State, uh, to play so well, we got gained a lot of confidence. And uh, from there, I think the rest is history. The dark side defense finished 2003 eighth in the country, the most improved defense in the nation. That 2003 defense is always going to be something very special because it might not be repeated ever again. Kurt Morrison emerged an All-American linebacker with superstar presence, but another priority outweighed the NFL. Next year, I want to return to San Diego State. Hey, it showed he was the ultimate team player, that he came back for us. He didn't go, yeah. he didn't leave he us for any other girls. reasons. He, uh, hey, <laughs> hey but he came ulterior back. motives, it's hey. fine. Nah, man. <laughs> I came back, you know, for my teammates, you know. I mean, just last year, the way we left uh, the number eight ranked defense, you know, we just wanted to come back and, you know, do it all over again. You know, Dark Side episode two. Unfortunately, the 2004 sequel didn't turn out to be as good as the original. We give up 500 yards against who, who do we give up to? Utah. Utah and then a BYU, I guess. The thing that's really hard to do is uh, playing games that are just really close and you end up losing, like, the Wyoming, the Colorado State games, you know, those heartbreakers, those are the ones that hurt, you know. But looking back on the last four years, the team's record isn't what sticks out in their minds. Hey, I'm going to miss getting up at 6 o'clock in the morning or 5 o'clock in the morning and getting here and just seeing these guys' faces, just yeah. like, God, this sucks, but we got to go through this together. And being in the huddle, your teammates in the locker room before the game, seeing everyone get excited, and their adrenaline going, and that's what I'm going to miss. These seniors never had a winning season, yet they walked away without regret. You work hard, you play hard, you're going to have fun. That's what we did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Kirk, just want to leave our legacy uh, for the dark side to come. You know, uh, we set the foundation that uh, the, the kind of the commitment and the excellence that we have, we want everybody to kind of just follow what we've, uh, what we've laid out. You have to leave, but I think they're going to be proud that they've put that solid foundation. And now when we start building the house around it, I think they're going to be proud of it. I'm just happy to play with these guys. Uh, they've been my family for the last four years. So, you know, we spent so much time together. Um, I love these guys. Thanks, John. Nice job as always. When we